Yo, 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 yo. Four. Actually, let me start recording for this. Actually, nah, nah. For the first time in monetary experience history, we got face cam. I wanted to do face cam today, so y'all are stuck with me. Uh, let me flip this. Uh, it looks weird to me. Curious. Yeah. No, it is flipped. So I'm now flipped, so I look like I'm actually looking properly, even though I'm really not. Uh, but anyways... I'll get my light on. I'm gonna get my fan light on. I'll be right back. <laughs> light is on! But anyways, before we get started, I want to show off some stuff. I also wanted to make sure that this actually loaded correctly. I might have to reload the textures. Do I have to? No, they seem to have popped over properly. Ooh, I actually really like that. I was a little bit worried about how this was going to look in game. I never actually checked it. What about the Durandal? Oh yeah, this also turned out how I wanted it to. Kinda. It got cut off a little bit from the top, but it's close enough. I was gonna go change that later. What I really want to see is the woods. Oh yeah. Definitely still think I might need to tweak around with the palm wood a little bit more. Uh, with like how the palm wood helmet's situated, but everything else looks fine. I really like all of this. I'm actually very proud of these. Especially Boreal Wood. I don't know what I did, but the Boreal Wood helmet especially, I just adore. I love it. All right, while I'm here, let's find equipment. The pets, the shit of pets. This isn't Terraria spriting SMH SMH. We're going to be doing actual stuff in a bit. Also, chat, you guys are now above me. If you guys want to read chat, just like casually. Chat is above me now. So it doesn't, you know, go over me. Uh, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's the tiny halberd? Oh, right. I also made the Royal Gilded Saddle look a little bit better. Not much better, but it looks like a saddle now, kind of. With a little thingy at the bottom. Because I didn't know how else to fill up the space. Where is the tiny halberd? Or at least like the birdie rattle. Our folks today, I think we're all fine. I obviously you're the first person in chat. You popped in very quickly. There it is. There's a tiny halberd. Never put this on. There we go. Also, uh, a few other things got done literally just last night, like the phase blades or the face savers. I mean, uh, the pristine blade got redone, which was cool. Uh, I don't really think there's much else. Uh, I guess if we go over to guns, my guns look okay now. My guns look good. There's the Onyx Blaster. Onyx Blasting has never looked so stylish. If I could still Onyx Jump. Can I Onyx Jump still? Do I, do, 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 do I still got it? I seem to not still have it. I'll be back quite quickly because I need to get like get food after that. I'll probably be back still. I'll be here for a few minutes to pull you by your onyx. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad at onyx jumping, but this is probably my favorite gun I've made. I uh, I hate to say this, 
because I, those of you that watch me enough know about my disdain for Calamity. But I actually used Calamity's angelic shotgun as a base. And I built off of that. Um, I kind of shrunk it down to get like a basic outline. Uh, I get kind of like an idea for like how a basic outline would work. Um, because if I don't know how the hell to do a gun, I will use other I will use other sprite work for reference. Yeah, more per. It, it, I mean, it's it's actually less purple. It's just m more tactfully used purple. Uh, yeah, the Uzi. Uh, the tactical shotgun's kind of funny. Um, I base this one off the Fortnite tactical shotgun. Because I didn't know what else to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, the candy corn rifle also finally looks good after a very long time of trying to figure out what the hell to do. Get Fortnite mentioned. Also, the Xeno Popper now has bubblegum flavor. It's bubblegum flavoring now. I need to change the glow map. I just, I don't know what glow map it is. This is looking game. It actually looks okay in game. I was always, I was very worried about how this grenade launcher looked. I think looking at it in game, I don't hate it. Uh, the chain guns stay the same, but basically all my guns changed. Oh, I also should show off True Knight's Edge. True Knight's Edge also got changed. When you have one that or some restored in weird spots. Oh yeah, glow maps are really weird. They're always on like the most random weapons. All right, it's gonna mark everything that does true melee damage. Broadsword. There it is. True Knight's Edge. Look at it. It's got like a cool like galaxy design. I didn't know how I like felt about this originally, but I really like it. I actually really like the design of my True Knight's Edge. Which I'm actually planning on renaming my Knight's Edge to something random like what I did with uh, Aetheria. Planning on renaming the Knight's Edge to something random and making True Knight's Edge just the Knight's Edge. So you combine Excalibur and Knight's Edge rather than true Excalibur, true Knight's Edge. Emergy drink. Mmm. Battery acid. Color of the true Knight. It's, I am sadly not. I might go back and add some green to it, but uh, we can just pretend. We, 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 we can just pretend. Actually, maybe if I saturate the colors enough, I could actually get it to slightly change. Because uh, it goes off a of grayscale mapping. So it, it just tints it a color. We actually do have a little bit of freedom on what I want to do. It's always going to have that green tint, but yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I get what you were asking. Oh, also, Bungie. Wood. What what armor? It looks good. I really like this all. <coughs> Look at it, it's smooth. Also, they got wood I uh, sword and hammer. Very delicious looking. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> uh Right, we need to like actually play the video game. It's already been 15 minutes, uh, so probably about 10 minutes if we just say the uh, the streaming itself. Very cool, very fun. Uh, I am the queen uh, at keeping things on track. I'm the queen of the shape. Yeah.
So let me do the mage gem ropes. Thank you. Thank you. I know they're very nice. Okay, let's pop into the worlds. And once we boot up. Oh, bam, start recording. Hello, Castle Etheria. Hello. Shit, I never took my meds. Let me go check my meds really quick. Chat, these are not drug. Uh, these are not drugs. These are uh, candy. YouTube. It's uh, it's candy. Uh, I'm not taking drugs on stream. Totally. Just gotta dissolve these under my tongue. Alexa, mark my take morning meds reminder as completed. And we find the other ones I take during the day. Yep, we eat all the candy. Uh, that's drug flavored. We eat all my favorite drug flavored candies. Antidepressant. Yeah, they're flip chunk vitamins. To be fair, to be fair, one of them is a vitamin. B12. It's uh, over the counter B12 meds. I know I've told you about it, Bungie, but uh, Exergen gave me a B12 deficiency. And my pescatarian diet gave me a B12 deficiency. I'm very B12 deficient. Well, I kind of needed those. Okay, now with those dissolved. So I could do the normal thing and use water. Or I could be funny. Very funny. Now I'll drink some water with it as well. <laughs> Need to refill my water soon. All right. Hi, Kyle. Welcome. Welcome. Strawberry! I thought you knew about the strawberry on my water bottle. I bought the Celeste cassette. Uh and it came with uh and it came with the strawberry. Because I bought a uh refurbished collector's edition just without the game. It was just all the add-ons. Also known as uh Storby and uh cassette tape. Yeah, you are just bad. Also, chat, I have uh, I have news for you. I tricked you. I tricked you guys. You guys thought we were going to be you got you guys thought we were going to be like preparing. No, we're building a bridge. Bridge building. Let's go. More bridges. We spent this entire month building a bridge. How am I supposed to make this video entertaining? Yeah, there are bridges under your skin. There are bridges over your skin, as you can tell by both the Hell Bridge and the Sky Bridge. <coughs> <coughs> No, we're not playing on For the Worthy. We're not playing on For the Worthy, luckily. Uh, but as you have pointed out multiple times, Bungie, there is the astral infection that I did not take into account. And also, um, I don't know how high the nukes reach. So if I, like, I better hope to God that if I want a nuke, like, around over here, that it works. Also, it's probably going to get rid of my hopes and dreams for the hollowed pylon. Oh boy. We screwed ourselves over big time. Let's get uh, let's get the money chop out. 
Yeah, foresight? What's that? I just wanted to build a bridge! Which turned into like a 40 hour long endeavor. It is absurd. All right, let's get another 81. I think I remember how this all works. Uh, yeah. We want to build all this. Yeah, the future is cringe. Yeah, it hasn't happened yet. So why should we care? Just build bridge. Simple as that. <coughs> yeah, then we do 81. Because if I'm not mistaken, this should line up perfectly. Shit. Okay. We build up this next set. How am I placing blocks so fast? A lot of upgrades. A lot of potions. Or, I mean, there's like two potions in play, but still. Um, the Marnite Architect Toga, Hand of Creation, yada, yada, yada. Uh, those both just do that. Okay. The Gizmo Pack doesn't actually have any effect. I just have the gizmo packed because uh, I just have the gizmo packed because uh, Fargo hasn't made uh, stuff working in the piggy banking safe uh, safe compatible with hand creation yet. But yeah, that's how we're placing blocks so fast. You get this down to a science. Fuck yeah. Nope, it's only three blocks. There we go. It's like this. Nope, and it's not over there. Okay. I am apparently great. Oh my god, I am so good at Terraria. I am so good at popular video game Terraria. Uh, development released by Relogic back in 2011 with approximately like 30,000 uh, to final updates or whatever. All right. Yeah, Terraria, oops, only final updates. But like, that's for real though. Every update since 1.1 has been touted as the final update. But it, it never is true. I don't know why people keep like believing Red when he says it. <clears throat> to be fair, I'd ask how was uh, Journey's End being like the true final update like such a large spectacle at this rate um 
But then I remember that like Terraria grew massively since 1.3 came out. Like I would say one point like after 1.3 came out was probably the biggest stretch of growth. Exactly. It probably very well is just a marketing strat. Or at least it's partially. I feel like at this point it is like kind of just partially a marketing strat. Though the part of me believes that Red like genuinely just thinks he's going to stop working on Terraria and then doesn't. You know, like the multiple times they said I'm going to stop making content because it was like ruining my mental health only to realize that uh, this gives me something to do that I actually can stomach. Because <clears throat> I, for the life of me, cannot handle, like cannot deal with a quote unquote real job. Either I have night back out. Okay. Luckily, this is this on its own is like a lot of the walls already. Then, we'll go, uh, then once we're done with this, we'll go back through and as we're placing the next row of blocks, uh, the next row of walls, we'll place down the blocks as well. Yeah, to be fair, I can entirely see that. Like how apparently BT5 still gets updates, you know, something like that. It's just downsized. So I guess you can't really downsize a team as small as Terraria's. Like uh, Terraria for all its success is it's 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 an indie game. Oh my god, it is still it, it is still entirely just an indie game. I mean, I say it like, like that's like a bad thing. No, 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 no. Indie games are great. But Red, Red isn't exactly upgrading the uh, Red isn't exactly uh, massively expanding his studio or anything. Yeah. And this game is still going to get higher Steam reviews than GTA 6. GTA 6 could be like an absolutely like amazing game. People are still just going to like people are still just going to have Trey be higher rated. Yeah, yeah. At this rate, yeah. What do you have to do after finishing this bridge? Um, maybe any last touches we really need to do before hard mode. Um, but this is kind of the big thing is making sure we get this bridge done so we don't have to deal with wyverns when building it. This entire thing was, uh, was a ploy. Uh, to get you guys to watch the stream. And then I tricked you all by having it still be about bridges. But I, I have faith that actually we could finish the bridge today. I actually have faith. I have faith we could finally finish this bridge and move on to something different.
but yeah um i like legitimately don't really know what else we have to do for hard mode um yeah i think i put like a million mid rolls in it <clears throat> i guess if there were to be something else we could do we could cut out holes around the uh around some of the areas to like kind of corruption proof them but there is just so much stone everywhere it's like rachel the storm queer hi hi scarlet holy shit it's been a while wow you don't pop in very often what's the occasion watch she's just gonna leave She's gonna leave. She's not gonna have any other response. She's gonna leave. All right. The shit's all the. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. I. I mean. While while you're here, congratulations. You're you 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 get to be. You, 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 you get to watch bridge building for four hours. You don't get to leave. You do not get to leave this. You are forced to watch the bridge building. I have not spent this many hours on building a bridge just for no one to see it. Side track with life is perfectly valid. Don't worry about it. But yeah, so we've done this entire half of the bridge over here. Obviously, this arena kind of acting sort of as the focal point, even though it is a little bit skewed towards the left. Uh, I kind of, even though it's not real, I, I, even though it's not really the midpoint, I sort of uh, mark this as the midpoint. And then if we go underground, we got the hell bridge that goes across the entire, or that goes across about half the underworld, I would say. Just about. Okay, uh, we should be getting very close. Or I'm gone in my ear. That's fucking no worries about it. No worries about it. If you gotta leave, you gotta leave. There's no shame in that. I appreciate you popping in anyway. Harass is not building a bridge. I am building a bridge. You play. Oh, you got a point for those. That's so cute. Wait a minute. It's so cute. Oh my God. Congrats. You know, you are now the second trans person that watches my channel that runs a Minecraft server for some weird ass reason. If I had a nickel for every single time, a, uh, for every single time a trans person, uh, I can't speak. If I had a nickel for every single time a trans person that watches my streams run, ran a micro server, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice. I mean, they're not binary, but for the sake of the joke, it's technically under the trans umbrella. At the end of the day, transphobes don't give a shit. Though, so, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, throw the... No! Where the fuck did you get an entire platypus? Where the fuck did you get an entire platypus? 
Yeah, of course they made the joke, because I'm funny. Don't... Don't worry, uh... You get the last laugh on this one. Um, it actually makes me extremely dysphoric. Um, as we all know, women aren't funny, and therefore... Uh, I am actually making myself extremely dysphoric. For legal reasons, YouTube, that was a joke! Don't take down this VOD! Fuck you! They have done it once before! They've, uh, they've also started to mark my videos as not suitable for adver- or like my VODs as not suitable for advertisers. The Terraria ones have seemed to slip under the radar, but for some reason, uh, what's it called? For some reason, the, uh, right, Raveyard. Well, uh, we'll, we'll take advantage of this to listen to the music. Um, why can't I speak? But it's like, the Terraria streams have seemed to have slipped by just fine, but all the other games I play have been getting, uh, flagged. But here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Normally when this happens, I can just repeal. Because it's probably something weird and random or whatever that manual reviewers would obviously see. But manual reviewers are saying they're not suitable for advertisers. What am I doing? They don't tell you this. It just gives you a learn more page that takes you to general info on... on community guidelines. They don't tell you anything about what you might have broken. About what you might have done to, uh, to, 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 to get the shitty yellow circle of death. Like, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Tell me. Like, legitimately, I want to know. I want to know so I can do better. I swear to God, I hate this platform sometimes. All right. Exactly. Now, I, I, I don't, I don't just want to go right out and say it's transphobia. Uh, I, I, I've dealt with transphobia for, like, random shit before. And, like, I don't know, I, call me a, call me weird or whatever, or call me, like, overly cautious, but usually if you, if you flag something as transphobic, and it, it wasn't the person's intention or if you like you like suspect something might be like transphobic or something and you don't like and the intentions don't line up with what not, not even what the person's actual intentions were what they say their intentions were it becomes an entire shit show i have been on twitter i know what this is i'm so glad i left that site a few months ago granted tumblr got transphobic as all hell Wow, CEO of a large company being transphobic? Whoa. They're gonna build the bridge wrong. I will not build the bridge wrong. You have a good one, Coil. You spelled my name wrong. The I and the E are so far apart from each other. Also, if I am not mistaken, my name has an H in it, right? No. Yes. Wait. No, yeah, no, you just spelled my name really wrong and you confused me on my own spelling of my name. You made me confused on my own name, like how I spell my own name. What the hell? You fish. supposed to do. Sh 
into one of these. Hey, it's a jolly madman. What you doing all the way up here, bud? Thought you only spawned in the cavern layers. I guess you spawned during rave. No uh, I guess you spawned during graveyards. That's cool. You don't know how like intensely I'm scouring the skies back there, especially since it's so close to midnight. If it was uh. Like, because as soon as it hits, uh, midnight... Okay, thank God. The skeletons just got bored. The skeletons did not chuck a meteor at my bridge. I feel like every single stream we're gonna have to... Uh, I feel like there's gonna be at least one bridge we're gonna have to... Uh, like, one part of the bridge we're gonna have to re uh, repair because of meteorites. Because that's the issue of building a large canopied bridge that goes across the entire world. There is no room for the meteors. So the meteors will always just hit the, it will always just hit the canopy. to bother doing any more because that's obviously not 81 blocks so we'll be fine oh wait I just now realized you were saying racial like you meant ra I hate you I hate you Scarlet <laughs> you bitch so many fucking things. Seeing the red dot, like, ugh, I hate it. Wow, it has only been half an hour. We've already done a lot of work on the bridge. We are getting significantly faster. <coughs> We're starting to get significantly faster at uh, placing down blocks and getting through this faster. Yeah.
Hell yeah, we got overworld day. Let's go. Something different. Right, I forgot to do the Forgot to do the decor on this. There we go. We got a traps. Nice. I'm just very curious. What is the range right now? Okay, so there's no this is like a large part, but a lot of that's gonna go away once we get to uh we get like a little bit later. But like once you get a little bit later in the game, you know? repeating like the same thing that we had been doing before this is essentially just what we were doing down over at the hell pile uh down over at the hell bridge granted i mean that is entirely because uh the hell bridge is based off of the canopy design almost like that's uh looks like that's the case lamau And then once we're done with all the walling, then we're going to do the last little bit, which is getting up the chains and uh, which is getting up all of the chains and uh, like different pathways down. And then we could add, you know, the other support I was planning on adding, but I think for now it'll be fine. Yeah, I had this like death stare just because I'm just I'm just like staring blankly. I don't really know what to say right now, so I'm just kind of like staring and uh, focusing on the work that needs to get done, which is like kind of funny. I don't know.
actually one thing I can speak a little bit about actually uh, I'm starting my first day of DoorDash today, which will be really nice. I'll actually be able to start getting some better uh, equipment for you guys uh, Make the streams a little bit more uh, Pizzazz and by that I mean I I'm getting it. I'm my, my first goal is an SSD. I want an SSD Hi, hi Bungie. Welcome back. Hope your food was good Okay, there's the one I skipped, right? Yes. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah, the bridge is making surprisingly fast progress. Nice. I'd rather have the bridge be done early than late. Because as I've said multiple times, wyverns suck. But yeah, as I was like just saying before, um, I'm starting my first uh, time with DoorDash today. I didn't like sign up for like a shift or anything. Uh, I'm just gonna check and see what deliveries are available as they pop up. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how little goes. Um, but yeah, I have like an M.2 drive uh, thing that I believe Casey recommended. Uh, those of you who don't know Casey, they'll pop up on the Barrow Trauma stream sometimes. They're a friend of mine. They're cool. Yeah, I'm hoping day one will go well too. Um, Yeah, kind of the goal is to do like after my Friday streams is to do a few hours of DoorDash. As a way to just give myself a little bit extra. Uh, and to help me. I just, you know, keep myself, uh, like, kind of just, like get myself, you know, what I would need. Whatever. I don't know what the hell I'm saying at this point. It's fine. <clears throat> but yeah, my goal is probably about like 60 to 80 bucks. Once I get around that much, I think I'm just gonna call it. So I think that means that after about three weeks of doing that, I will be able, no, not two weeks. I'm thinking of the price of my of the headphones I'm looking at getting. Cause I've got headphones on my Amazon wish list as well. I'm looking at. Uh, they're like Bose, uh, like some like really good like Bose headphones with good noise canceling, and they are. I saw them on a lot of places as being pretty good, being a really good option. They're like 250, but with how many, uh, with, with how much I'm seeing, seems to be pretty good. Are several years old SMH? Actually, I believe these are like literally, they're not like years old, but they're at least like a year and a half old at this point. <laughs> headphones in these, in this bag here still work and they're my backup headphones. They don't have like noise canceling or anything, but I keep them with me just in case, and those are multiple years old. They're just a pair of wired headphones I use. They're older than me, damn. Yeah, I wonder what the sound quality on those were. Do you remember that at all? Fun. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> oh, we're 
already about halfway through with this row. And like this row includes placing down all of the blocks. I like, not too much worse than my current headphones. That's pretty fair. To be fair, like there's like a certain in my in my opinion, there's like a certain standard <clears throat> that headphone audio quality needs to hit. And after that, you get massively diminishing returns on the, uh, uh, on like sort of, I guess, like the crispiness and like how good the audio quality sounds to the, uh, to like the majority of ears. So in most scenarios, if you can just like at least hit that baseline, you should be good. The difference is that the baseline can be different for uh, some people than it is for others. And hell, there are people who just literally don't even put audio quality in as a factor. Like kind of someone like me. Like I, I care about audio quality, obviously. Like I, I edit videos and whatnot, but it's not even close to my top priority. I'm gonna be honest, my top priority is noise canceling. Uh, I want something that will block out like everything. Yeah, that too. Worse audio quality is funny. <laughs> oh, I now want to switch. Hey Bungie, Bungie, if uh, if worse audio quality is uh is funnier and you like uh and uh you're Mr. Internet Funny Man in your videos, why don't you have a shitty mic then? Hmm. Checkmate liberals. Just epically own the libs. Got him. Uh Ripped traveling merchant. I haven't checked that traveling merchant in a while. I mean, how my ears and clarity that is needed. I guess that's fair. No, I'm not. Should I be? Maybe. But I don't- I'm not you, Bungie. I don't drop everything I'm doing to go say hi to Travs. You know how much that would mess with my workflow? It would ruin me. That's what you sound like. L. L. Oh, you're shitting me. Whatever. You know what? Fuck it. We're dealing with it. It's new music. There's not really enough room for most things to just like spawn consistently here anyway.
get rid of the torch. We do indeed love Harpy jump scare, don't we? It's obvious. I don't know. One in place shift two. Why am I still on the server? Why am I still on the shift two? I haven't played shift two in over a year. Let me just delete that really quick. Thanks. It's um. It replaces the baby harpy in the uh in the texture pack. Because I just stole its wings. I just stole its wing sprites. Okay, we're getting we're getting close finally. Ooh, we got rage, very awesome. Last four to go, and then we're done with the second longest uh, wall placing for today. Because this one is just more block placing uh, since the uh, uh, and what's it and building the chain areas is going to be after we're done with everything else. 
That's gonna be the last thing we do, so we have room, I guess. Let's go. Okay, it's gone already. Y'all got to enjoy the mushroom music while it was there. It's back now. For another uh, short time. Okay. So for the Gaithic stone brick, it goes behind the small pillars in front of the large ones. That's how we do this. Any amount of asphalt at some point in this build? Don't, don't, don't remind me of asphalt. I don't want to be reminded. Uh, the answer is a solid maybe. If I can get it to look good, maybe I'll uh, replace the Gaithic stone brick on top of the canopy and on top of uh, the flooring with it. We're definitely going this one definitely goes at a much faster pace It will speed through the next uh, four of these Like this plus the next three layers. It's only gonna be the last layer of walls. It's gonna kind of Take a bit longer because we're gonna ha uh, It is indeed over That's for Dean. It is indeed over Ah face Hi, Helm! Hello, yes, my face cam is on today. I know, I'm very scary. Fear the scary trans woman. Booga booga, so spooky. Uh, yeah. Fox. More goobers are here. Yes, sorry, Bungie, you're not the only one here now. approaching halfway done with this layer this one goes so much faster than the last ones because you know we didn't have to build any blocks we're just gonna be very quick about it oh right um yeah in front of the large ones behind the small ones That's how this works. I can't look I love building this bridge but as I've said multiple times over the past few streams I cannot wait for this bridge to be done so we can move on Granted by the time we move on we just have another large checklist of stuff to do a lot more varied though a lot of mining 
it's gonna be some doing something other than building and it's gonna be something other than you know building bridges how uh awesome but they go mining and fishing and whatnot granted i mean we, we have angler and chance so it's not like fishing is gonna you know take long and we, we are gonna have to go fishing anyway for uh for our angler quests because one of my goals is all uh, achievements all of the bridge footage you have what do you mean by a bridge analysis video <coughs> i should get an architect to look over my bridge actually with, uh with you saying that i should find like an architect on fiverr or something uh just like a just like, just like a, a cheap like do that will like review bridges for a short fee or something and have them review my terraria bridges and see how structurally sound they are is multiple <clears throat> I'll get the uh, I'll get those ones on the way back it's fine that rope from last month huh learn something new every day the second one will be a nice way to kind of fact check my work a bit like sick by the way uh as you can see by the no longer uh uh be nice to me i'm sick message uh, if you're wondering why i'm coughing it's 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 it, i'm just clearing my throat i hate the feeling i have of not having my throat cleared god damn it get out of here
There you go. The Explorer combat will definitely help with things like lighting during the night and whatnot as well. <clears throat> I think that's the only other one we ended up missing. But I think we kind of should be good to just sort of skim through all the rest of this. And then like we're going to have a much closer perception. <clears throat> we're going to have like a much uh, actually we already have like a very easy time kind of like seeing uh, how this is going to end up sort of looking. a whole lot faster at this too <clears throat> very nice yeah, I'll keep that one since we're gonna be going up to uh, a third tier anyway or like a third layer More like, um, uh, the uh, bridge. Yeah, bridge. That's all this feels like it's been, even though realistically, it's only been about a third of the entire playthrough has been dedicated to bridge. That's still a lot. Oh, I'm aware that 40 hours to build a bridge is still a lot. Or to build two bridges is still a lot of time. I'm just saying it's not the entire monetary experience. It's just a lot of it. All right, layer three. Yeah. 
To be fair, it, it basically is just the bridges we built along the way. Do you know how many bridge like you no know, like many blocks long of bridge we've made? About twelve thousand. About twelve thousand feet. <clears throat> or uh roughly I believe just about four kilometers. Going to the fucking metric system. Uh, just about four kilometers of bridge. Bridge building speed run. Nah, I make my bridges too intricate. It's only been an hour. We're, we're going to finish the bridge today. Like, I, I'm sorry if this like sounds like weird, but like we're going to finish the bridge today. Budgie, that sounds like pain and you know it. Bungie, let's, let's be honest here. in your life. Bungie, that in it itself is a lie. <clears throat> if you told the computer that, it would literally just explode. See that super often. Okay, we're just about to hit the second corruption area. What? No, nothing to apologize for. Welcome back. I totally understand it. Like, for real.
Oh, right, Lunar Empowerment. This looked like the blank buff icon, but no, there is a small blue moon in there. It looks like such a weird place for a field trip. What? Why would that be your field trip? <clears throat> okay, so now we can go at basically full speed and just run through this. I guess that's fair? Holy shit, I'm getting tired already. God damn. I'm pulling through, I'm pulling through. It's not like I can, it's not like I can sleep after this anyway. <coughs> God damn it. Game for skipping a few frames. I love walking in a straight line, not doing anything for multiple minutes on end. Oh, shit. Okay. Good thing I caught that while I was dozing off. Cause I am like legit already dozing off. So what mod? Enchanted moons. Cool mod, look it up. You can actually see the entire mod pack. Um, there is a link in the description that goes to a guide that has the boss list, the NPC list, NPC living preferences, and the mod list with my configs. Uh, or with a, a way to download my configs, like I should, I should say. Team mod pack, I probably could. I had a blue moon thing in my list of vibe tracks. Fair enough. I forgot Steam. I forgot Steam mod packs are a thing. I could do that. I just did it on there because I already like had it. Okay, and this gives me one last time to fact check all my work as well while I place down all this.
Once the uh, once the blue moon ends, I'm probably gonna put back on the uh, the chaos elemental theme. Gonna take a lot longer than the other ones, but it's a little bit more engaged. So won't be falling asleep as much. Oh god damn it, I don't want to deal with another goblin army. So I guess this gives us time to test out the new castle walls, the new castle gates with the actuators. <clears throat> To be castle, bitch. Yeah, that's right. Fuck off. No solicitors. I can basically just sit here now. I'll be, uh... Oh. Okay. Being jittered a little bit. But yeah, we're basically clear for the entire, uh, for the entire invasion now, because most stuff just kind of can't really get in. It's not all that easily. And then once we get, like, echo walls, or like, ooh, we should replace that all with glass. And then we'll eventually replace all that with echo walls. basically just make it impossible for them to spawn uh in in like you know like up here like in these two pockets or in the entryways by placing down glass and eventually replacing it with echo walls i think that's what we're gonna do We've got so many glass walls. Why don't we just get started now?
add in all of the walling. And now, uh, right, I just still need to do the other half. And now they just straight up can't get in. We are defended. Like, this is legitimately a pretty good, like, defense. Yeah, no gobble levels allowed. And during, like, larger events, like, uh, let's say it's, uh, Pumpkin Moon, right? Yeah, we'll use, like, Pumpkin Moon or something as an example, or, like, the Pirate. Actually, no, because Pirates don't have anything that really goes through walls. Well, yeah, uh, that's Eternity Mode. Like, let's say, you know, we're, uh, we're... We're, like, fighting off shit with our sentries and whatnot, and suddenly a pumpkin spawns. BAM! We fly out, and we're outside. We can go up above the castle to fight anything up top. And it's very easy to just get right back into our safety. It's easily traversable, easily defendable. Very good castle. Very good castle. Please, so the echo walls later. Do you like the look of glass? I'm considering keeping glass over on the other side, like over on the lower floors. But this up here, I plan on replacing with echo walls when we hit uh, Plantera. I plan on replacing these glass walls with echo walls upon hitting, pla uh, like upon hitting the point of the game where we can get them, which is Plantera. But for now, they're sticking with glass. Uh, this is something I hadn't originally wanted to do because uh, I was worried it was going to ruin the aesthetic too much. But I think the aesthetic stays intact enough where I can trade a little bit of aesthetics for defense. Secure. I feel a little, honestly just those walls. I already feel so much more secure in here. I feel powerful. I feel like I could. I feel like this could withstand an entire army. To be fair, it already has. But I feel like at this point they just straight up can't even get in. Because you see, I could do a similar thing up here with these. Uh, with like especially this one right in the middle. But I don't need to because they can't break trap doors. So my trap doors are safe. But by placing wall in here and in the entryways, we've now blocked any easy access to, uh, to stairs. Right up the stairs to like doorways. Like the only real doorways that lead outside into an unwalled area are the ones near the bells. But these ones are a lot harder to hit. Then I don't think the majority of enemies can even get up here. I think it's the easy axe, just kind of swipe at him. I got the hiccups, one quick second. I refuse to deal with those sensory nightmares. 
anyone here who might have like probably not even like sensory issues like right i don't think most people feel borderline physical pain at hiccups well this is uh this is a remix of it but yes cherry music is absolutely ballin this is uh this is the overhaul remix because overall has their sound pack public Speaking of that, let's put on Chaos Elemental. This replaces the, uh, the Terraria Overworld Day Remix. Uh, with a remix of the Underground Hollow theme by Kirby Rocket, which is the main, uh, which is the main composer of Overhaul music. And, uh, Dokoro. I'm assuming you guys know who the fuck Dokoro is. Really cool music composer. Don't really know the guy. Guy seems kind of chill. I don't know. Listen to some of his newer stuff lately. Um, I think the biggest thing. I, th I, th I think. Uh, I think uh, the. I think the thing that stuck with me the most. Which is really funny that this is what stuck with me the most is the fact that some of his songs now sound like elevator music. And I don't mean that in like a derogatory statement. Dokoro's music is still good. It's still bangers. But it sounds a bit like elevator music. And it's kind of funny. It does. Sounds like montage music. That's fair. I'm not talking about like Dilgaro's Terraria stuff. I don't even, I, I doubt dude. As far as I know, dude doesn't make Terraria music anymore like at all. I'm talking like his like current stuff. Like uh, let me find the one I'm talking, like the main one I'm talking about. I won't play it uh, just cause. Uh, what's it? Let me look up DM Dokoro. What is the, what is the song? I'm, glass structure. This is what I'm thinking of. That's what I said it was. Okay. Yes. Cause I, cause he said it was elevator music, right? He said it was elevator music. I said it sounds like the crappy corporate art style that everyone uses. You can actually find my comment on this video. I'll put it in Twitch as well in case someone's watching there. But yeah, uh, it, it sounds like that crappy corporate art style that companies like Google use, you know, like the like really oversimplified one that looks like shit. It almost gives you the uncanny valley, despite the fact it is extremely cartoony. Canny? I don't fucking know. What's it? Uh, like you know what the uncanny valley effect is, right? It's when something feels too real that it makes you really uncomfortable. It feels too realistic for what it is. That's why stuff like the FNAF animatronics is so scary.
Or at least like the original ones are. kidding me this is night two like i don't think it was in a row but it was fucking close and i don't like that yeah thank you blood moon thank you i wanted to i i didn't want to exist anyway Spawned out of crimson. It's still just like so wild to think about. We spawned in a crimson. Like, we settled on basically a bunch of lakes. Like, like, legitimately, we essentially settled on what's the Terraria equivalent of Swampland. And to have built into this is absurd. Make so many jokes that shut up, nerd. Yeah, no, this is already, like, gone in, like, such a long way. I cannot wait to see. I cannot wait to see, like, how this is going to turn out at the end. How this mod, like, how this, uh, how this world is going to turn out by, uh, June. Like, when we kill, like, Plantera. August, when we kill Moonlord. September and October when we start uh, completing mods. And then I wonder how it's going to look in December. But everything else is done when we've done literally everything. No, we probably we probably won't even have everything done actually going into December. I legitimately still think that there's just so much growth. There is just so much growth that could be had with this with this world that I don't think it's ever going to be in a truly finished state even even when we're done. You know, it could also be really cool. Maybe building a, a new texture museum. So as you guys probably know, um, as like a couple of you guys might know, um, I have a world. I have a builder's workshop world, uh, which is builder's workshop is like the largest all items world. If you're not aware, um, I have a builder's workshop world that I use to store all of the changed textures of my texture pack. What if I, what if I made one of those in, in this world? Would that be a cool project? Would you guys be interested in possibly seeing that? 
as a cool little way to kind of compile all the textures together. No, I'd be down. Hell yeah. Honestly, it could almost, instead of even just that, it could be a, uh, it could be a collection of all the vanilla items. Some tile, like all the tiles, all the uh, vanilla, like all the items and stuff like that. To get side by, like to be able to see every single texture in base game Terraria side by side. That would literally take up like it's probably like this entire area over here if I really had to wager a guess. But it could be so cool. It'd be another large project. But if we get started, uh, if we get started like in April when we're done with everything. If we like kind of get started in April uh, and just start cataloging items by type, by all of that jazz, I think we could actually get all the vanilla items down by maybe like the October, November time frame. Whenever you're able to get Zenith. So actually, it'd probably be December when we get Zenith. Hello again, Panos. Welcome for pop. Uh, yeah, well, th thanks for popping in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <coughs> but it's like, you know what? If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna have all of these I'm gonna make this gigantic overhaul texture pack. We might as well add in a thing. But we might as well add in a cool little place for this. Now you yeah, I've heard that that like literally makes it useless. Which um, yeah, I wonder why. I'm curious actually. Does unnerfs change that at all? No. They didn't change the zenith at all. So it's wildly unbalanced. Like it's wildly underpowered compared to all the bullshit that's in the base calamity mod. Maybe too OP. Yeah, I'm not saying perfectly un. I'm not saying completely unnerf it. I'm saying that they should have made it they should have done something different. Honestly? Are you post Moon Lord? What now? No! I... Uh, what's it? We are... We're pre-hard mode. We haven't killed Wall of Flesh. Um, if you're... Uh, I'm assuming you're new. Sorry. I'm assuming you're new. We break up bosses. Uh, every... We have, um... We lock ourselves off from progression each month. Uh, if you want the full breakdown of what bosses we can fight each week, or not each week, each month, check the description of the video and look for the monetary experience guide. It is... It's like a 30-page document that has the mod list, has the NPC list, a lot of shit. But, you know, we won't be post Moon Lord for a while. Uh, we don't kill Moon Lord until March. Not March. Yes, March. We don't kill Moon Lord until August. Oh, I don't. Yeah, that's fair. Uh. I don't know. Whatever. But. Yeah, I think the museum idea would be a, uh, like the uh, like the gallery would be a cool idea. Um, if y'all would, if y'all think that's a cool idea, I might like legitimately make it. It's not su It wouldn't be super difficult to make actually. 
you just do some sorting hell you do the same sorting that uh you do all the same sorting that the uh that magic storage does you basically just sort everything the same way that magic storage does uh for the most part or i even just keep it sorted by uh by version so that would make it a little bit messy you find a couple bosses it's a bit more than a couple but yes uh, seeing as there's seven con like seven large content mods with a bunch of uh, smaller stuff uh, tapped in, there's a lot of bosses. But yes, we, we fight a few things every month. Uh, today we were able to kill up to Star Scatter and Deviant, or I guess up through them. So our next. Uh, we will be starting next, uh, well, next week, because next week starts April. We'll be starting on Monday. We'll be killing Wall of Flesh and going into hard mode. I also play, I also put out a video every month with, uh, the recap. So if you want to quick, if you want to, uh, get quickly caught up, I would highly recommend watching those videos. <laughs> Did I just forget an entire support? Sure, Rachel. So this is Cal uh, Calamity with Overhaul Inferno. Uh, Overhaul? Right. Calamity Overhaul is its own thing. Uh, neither. Uh, we're playing with uh, Fargo Souls DLC. It is... Totally... Yeah, you should totally watch my content. Um... It's Calamity, Thorium, Fargo Souls, Mod Redemption, Consolaria, Overhaul, and uh, Stars Above. Not Calamity Overhaul, by the way. I mean, like, Terraria Overhaul. Like, the, uh... Like, like, like the mod that, like, completely overhauls Terraria's combat mechanics. Like, combat and movement mechanics. Because I genuinely like it more than the base game. Despite the fact that I've got, like, 5,000 hours in base game, uh, like, base game combat. Yeah, apparently Cal Overhaul is a different thing. I was not made aware of it until very recently. But yeah, we're not playing with Inferno either. Um, this 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 playthrough isn't meant to be just like boss hell. Sure, I brought up the uh, the HP of bosses, but that's more for balancing because Calamity doesn't know how to balance their own weapons. Yesterday, yeah, fair enough. Um. But yeah, um, but like th th this playthrough isn't all about the bosses. Um, uh, and what's it because of, um, why can't I speak? Uh, whatever. Uh, actually you can turn that off. It's a little bit difficult to find the overhaul config files because you have to go into your, uh, mod config fold or you have to go into, uh, you have to go into, uh, I think it's Documents, My Games, Terraria, T-Mod Loader, uh, Terraria Overhaul, and then there's the config file. You can make it so that blood no longer messes up your terrain. And if it's really bothering for you, you can uh, either use a mop or just uh, save quit. <coughs> Reloading the world gets rid of all blood. Like, actually, once I'm done with this, I can show you that. I can uh, show you that for proof. Exactly. <clears throat> you know, Terraria Overhaul is like legitimately one of my favorite mods of all time. Uh, as you'll come to learn if you stick around the content, uh, my favorite mod by far is Mod of Redemption. Uh, Fargo Souls and Overhaul are also up there. Thorium's another beloved mod of mine. Um, and I don't like Calamity. <laughs> I literally just have it in here for Fargo Souls DLC and to add more bosses. Also, Orc Toilet. Cannot forget the Orc Toilet. And also the Orc Bathtub due to Calamity's Vanities. So we have the Orc Bathtub as well, which we are planning on getting. We are getting the Orc Bathtub. The toilet in the bathtub in our... 
Not Ork, Auric. A U R I C, Bugany. Surface, you're gonna add a keybind to it. I'd rather not recall cheese if I don't need to. I I I fought dog before. Um, it's been two years, but I have fought dog before. And like, also, uh, overhaul roll. Sure, it can be a bit annoying later on when you uh have more when you have different movement options, but that dodge roll will help a lot. Because the dodge roll helps you play with a more horizontal playstyle. You don't have to just circle everything. That's one reason why I like. Uh, it, uh, I, bleh. that's one reason why I like overhaul's movement mechanics so much is because it, uh, it promotes different styles of dodging attacks rather than just circling. Because. Uh, people can bitch and moan all they want about how, oh, this game can become like a fucking bullet hell or whatever and like, oh, you need like a lot of precision for it. Especially in the base game, a lot of vanilla fights are just circling. I have put too many hours in to see them as anything else other than just circle the fucking boss. Basically from when I get rocket boots onwards with a couple exceptions. So much of it is just circle straight the boss or zigzag up and down while leading the boss away it is yeah but also like uh what's it devour of gods honestly i don't think i really don't think i'm gonna have too much trouble with devour of gods I don't really care like a dick measuring contest. I don't find myself to be all that good at Terraria. I don't know. I mean, it's like while we're on the topic, I don't really. Uh, I've been told I'm good at Terraria. I've been told I'm very good at Terraria. I don't think I'm like can beat Calamity Infernum without breaking a sweat. Dip, like good at Terraria. But I'm good enough to think that like uh, I, I'm, I'm good enough to not find like something like master mode difficult, you know, and I also find eternity mode fairly easy, but that's because I've been so that that's because I've gotten so used to eternity mode. That I can basically do everything up to abomination without uh, really any issue or any grinding. It only really becomes mutant when I really need to like focus and clutch up. I can pretty clearly see this. Yeah, I remember back when I, uh, I remember back when I used to like be big into Terraria modding back in like, like a long, long time ago. Like, um, I used to play, uh, like I think probably back around the time I started playing Terraria modding, which was like literally like around the time the T-Mod letter was first coming out, I was like in middle school. <coughs> I was like literally in uh in like middle school when like T-Mod letter was first becoming a thing. I remember back then, uh whenever like I, I could not really pinpoint the exact moment in time where I started catching wind of eternity mode, but I never wanted to play eternity mode because everyone talked about how like mutant was just like the hardest boss in all of souls. It's just, it's, it's just a pretty standard bullet hell. No hitting gets tough. I've never no hit mutant. Like I, I'll, I'll say it. I've never no hit mutant. I've got friends who are significantly better than me who can no hit mutant. I. Uh, Notably, my friend Parker, Megaswave. Very cool dude. He can he can no hit mutant pretty easily. I guess not like pretty easily, but like he was able to just pretty quickly shake off rust and casually no hit mutant in our multiplayer playthrough. So I would say he's pretty good at mutant. Yeah, that 30 minute long mutant fight, holy shit. Cause there was like six of us.
And yeah, um, Calamity's music has always been something I've liked. Um, I've always, uh, I, I've kind of always stood by the fact that Calamity's music is really good, but doesn't fit the mod and doesn't fit Terraria whatsoever. It doesn't fit either of them, but it's still really good. Oh, right. Yeah, the two-player one. Because we didn't have, like, any of the actual souls we needed, so the mutant fight lasted, like, 30 minutes. I had to carry you through it. Hell if I know. I don't, I'm not using Gorex Evader. Uh, you get, uh, the set bonus of... This armor right here, Geon armor. It's from the Thorium. It's from Thorium, and it's meant to be, uh... It's meant to be the upgrade to mining armor, and it gives you vein miner. So I just didn't use Oryx Cavator because I don't really care for it. I'd never use it in my playthroughs. I used to use it, um, but I really like taking my time with playthroughs. Like my average playthrough time is about 50 hours. Uh, but yeah, also going back to what I was talking about before for blood, you see, Castle Etheria, covered in blood. If I save and exit, I actually kind of want to do this anyway because we just got pretty much the entire... Uh, pretty much like the entire thing done. <laughs> I, I, I love... Sorry, I just, I love with high FPS, uh, with the high FPS support mod. It just, it makes these things just zoom. And so it makes, uh, the little mini me pet just zoom. Yeah, so if we load back into the world. Shit, the blood normally leaves. I honestly, I guess I would I guess I'm just wrong. I guess I'm just wrong. Whatever, I will admit I'm wrong. Whatever. I don't play enough overhaul apparently. Whatever. Regardless, it does despawn. It does despawn after a time. I guess I've just never, like, save and quit before it despawned. It's, uh... It's, uh... Correlation, not causation. The worlds and characters. Oh, I've, uh, I've lost all my old characters over and over and over again. Due to, uh, you know, PC swaps or, uh, me having to reformat data. I've lost a lot of characters. Welcome, say hi. Welcome, say hi. Are you just going to sit here? Are you just going to sit there or do you want to come say hi to the chat? Right, fuck you, laser player. Get fucked, laser player. Yes, I have like, there's like five cats in this house. Uh, I own one of them and I sort of own a second. Yo, now that you're distracted, come on. You don't get a choice. I'm showing you to the stream. It's time for your daily ritual. This is Biff. For those that don't already know him, his name is Biff. Hell yeah, Biff. I bet you are going to get all mushy now. Now that I pick you up and now that I moved you over here because you're lazy. 
this uh this dress didn't need this dress didn't need to go in public anyway uh this is technically a dress by the way uh if you're curious what i'm calling it a dress it is technically a dress it's more just a really really long shirt but it's technically a dress he said was how that was marketing me on amazon yes it was yes it was here Yes, it was. I more just wear like a tunic shirt. So I can actually wear leggings. Because I can't really wear leggings for um reasons. Uh so instead I wear tunic shirts. What month is this? This is March. This is the last stream of March. We are two hours into the four hours allotted for this last stream. You leaving me or are we staying? Should you stay or should you go? But yeah, this is March. Last stream of March. I usually stream these uh, every Monday, Thursday, and every other week. I'll also add on a Friday stream. So we have on average about 40 hours of streaming a month this and then i stream monday tuesday thursday friday every week just there's other stuff that isn't just the monetary experience okay something different right buddy look at the ether music box yep not a terror tuber i mean Dwarven never got back to me about, uh, uh, what's it about me joining, uh, that one Terraria server. So, I still have, I can still say I'm not a TerraTuber. Granted, it's not because he, like, doesn't think I would, like, would fit in. He's just said he just hasn't had the ability to go and check. He just hasn't like had the time to go check out the channel. So yeah, uh, let me go pop this into my. Oh, borderless gaming crashed. I was like, what crashed? What crashed? I got very worried for a second because it just said that something crashed. It was borderless gaming, which I'm not even using right now. Yeah, I just want to put that into my uh I, mean, I can also close out my Steam page. Uh so I know what I'm doing. Okay. Right, it's Elderwood Platforms. Not a full Minecraft YouTuber. I don't like kids. No, fair enough. Alas, that is a very hard prerequisite to beat. So I salute the. Oh right, I have to place down the walls. Oh, not me to accidentally alt tab. I should have all tabbed. Okay. One layer gray brick, one layer stone slab, one layer gray brick, one layer eight stone brick. Then we move on. Guys, we're gonna we're gonna do it! It's gonna be done! 
We don't have to work on this stupid bridge anymore. It only took the entire month. We have spent all of March on this. At long last, we're on the final stage of this. Actually, you know, you know what, you know what? It's been over a month. I guess uh, counting the times, uh, like counting the few streams I missed this month due to being sick. It's just about a month. <laughs> Working on two bridges, one of which is probably not going to be used until we have to fight the fucking storm weaver in like literally like November. You see, it doesn't help uh, either that we have a 32 node teleportation system we're setting up as well. A little bit cool seeing where each of these are going to go as well now too. Because I didn't really plan any of these in advance. They're just placed down pretty evenly. Did I show off the snow texture? Let's go down and we'll show it off when we get down here. Look at it. It's like really nice. I'm actually really proud of the snow texture. Like the snow and the ice. <laughs> it looks really good in my opinion. Yeah, look at all that snow. Looks so edible. Uh, too late, I pissed on it all. You're welcome. Find the painter now and I course I I course I core. I don't care they're technically called I core stickers. They are I core I core. If they're gonna name it I course if they're gonna name it uh Iker sticker. In order to confuse everyone who thinks it's pronounced Iker, I'm going to call an Icor Stikor. And no one can fucking stop me. The government cannot stop me. Oh great, that's in the prime area where I'm going to be nuking. It's actually pre it's like actual pronunciation is Icor. That's why they that's why they print that's why they called it an Icor sticker. Because it's actual pronunciation, uh the actual pronunciation of Icor as well. Icor. That's true. Yeah, you pronounce it Terraria. Okay, Brit. You're not even British. Fake pr 
fake British person. If you're gonna fake being someone, why not? Why fake someone who's cringe as a British person? It's Terraria. Terra area. Terraria. Okay then. Fucking Oh no, the start of the Cars movie. That's like Cars 2, so everyone gets really mad. The entire Cars movie, but I get beat up because I actually put on Cars 2. go back and watch cars again no 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 cars one is cars one is good cars two is a fucking fever dream Takes me straight over to the graveyard. What about Cars 3? Oh, I've never seen Cars 3. I have never seen Cars 3. I'm too old to see Cars 3. And by that, I mean, I like Cars 2 came out when I was like nine or something like that. Yeah, I was eight and I saw Cars 2 in theaters. Yeah. So needless to say, it's been a little bit since I've seen a Cars movie. I still need to continue Baldur's Gate. I keep saying I'm going to stream it and then I don't because I just I don't have the motivation to. Even though I know I really should. How are the dinosaurs? Uh, pretty cool. I love how even just older Gen Z are considered like ancient now for some reason. Like, damn, didn't know I was that old for being in the, uh, for being in the older half of Gen Z. I'm still Gen Z. I'm still the second youngest generation. I just happen to be a bit younger. I have to be a bit older. I'm not even considered a, uh, a. I'm not even considered to be at the age where I'd be a zillennial or whatever the hell they're called. That's more my older sister. My older sister would be a zillen. Uh, would be a zillennial as they're called. Well, you were I born? Was I born again in 2003? Bunchy, aren't we like the same age? Oh no, no, oh, no, sorry, you're a few months ahead of me or something like that. I totally don't have your birthday memorized. Oh, Blobble Swarm, cool. Yes, I am currently 20.
I'll be 21 in September. And then we will have much fun. Because uh, that's when Rachel goes off the estrogen arc and she goes on her alcoholic arc. Yes! Yes, queen! I can't wait to go on my alcoholic arc! Yes! Yeah, you are going to be so old. Let's get rid of all this rope that I just randomly had sitting here. And I was building the supports. It's it's done. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's starting to sink in. We're done. The bridge is over. Guys, shh, shh, shh. Shut up about beers for a second. We're done. Like, that's, that's the bridge. I will not find an excuse to build more bridges. We're... We're done. Sorry if I sound like weird, it's just... I, I, I'm almost in shock a bit. I'm almost a bit shocked. Oh, actually, there is one more little touch we can do. Is we can, in fact, do one of these. And we're going to do this over on the other side as well. Uh, dig a chains so we can effectively use the uh, the ocean pile on teleport. We can effectively use the shell phones. Yeah, I'm. I, I Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of myself, honestly. I'm like legitimately proud of myself for this. I did not expect to finish this like at, at the rate I did. But here we are. We we are we're done with it. Like obviously I'm saying this as I'm adding on like one quick little finishing touch. But this isn't like needed for the bridge and this wasn't even in the original plan. This is just for a quick ease of access. To get down to the actual bridge itself. We're, we're done. We're we're done. We're done. We finished. We we finished the bridge. Oh my god! It feels like a weight's been lifted on my shoulders for that. Love the uh, love the backwards good vibes. because of the fact that my camera's flipped right now. Wow, we're like putting away the gate that brick. Meteors are fun. I'm, I'm just gonna say that right now. Meteors are fun. So, I mean, 
Now we haven't had to sit here and think of something to build in a while. Oh, hey, they added a multi-platform chat to uh, stream elements the uh, the plugin of the website. That's cool. I, I don't know. Is this like a? Is this like at like the end of a Souls quest line where you go hollow? Yeah, month month four starts next stream. So we we it's if we end up dilly dallying for the next two hours, it's only going to be two hours of dilly dallying because then we got hard mode right after this. You know, let me just move this over a little. Bit. There, now you can see me a whole lot better. Um, it's shit. There's there's stuff to do. I just don't know what I want to do. It's uh, it it's option paralysis or choice paralysis, something like that. Where I I there's there's too many options. I don't know what to do. I'm just I'm freezing up. You finish the underground town. It it's actually we get started on the museum. But I don't know if I want to start such a large project today. So we might just finish the underground town. Ooh, actually what we can do. Nah, never mind. I guess we probably should just do this, right? probably start by doing here is let's grab another elderwood door let's get the stone Get the demolitionist down here again. Let's find the miner. Got a quick little chain to head down over to Noob's place. Oh, wait, this actually sounds pretty cool. Oh, well, isn't that neat? I could actually use one of those.
move back a little bit. Um. We're gonna dig into it a little bit. Older wood. Edel wood platform specifically. Put those down there. Love the head of now, boy. What's called before he heads off sometime. Or before he heads off somewhere. That's fair. People are uh, discussing what their favorite wood type is in the Thorbin Discord because I posted pictures of uh, different terraria wood retextures and yeah, they're they're talking about which one of theirs is their favorite. Cool. Oh my god, another Blood Moon. Yeah, goodbye, Scarlet. Are you heading out too, Bunchy? Like, no shame if you are. Can't get rid of me that easily? Well, what if I don't want to get rid of you? Like you. Blocks. the pillars I think I have some of those I do we need to 
use this to stand this up. You're basically planning on having one for each biome or not? Nah. No, we're we're just having one. I didn't realize how many pylons there actually were with all the mods, and I don't really plan on getting all of them. I just kind of want to stick to the vanilla ones, plus like the sulfurous sea. And a few more supports over here. What is flashing? Oh, it's this. Ow. Kind of lining this up. Just add a little bit extra support to down over here. Which is our cloth. Some chalice fragments, I guess. Try it. You don't gotta stall them. I don't know. Right, I think I can combine this. Right, wait, no, I need to get. Do I have an empty music box on me? 
I'll just shimmer one of these. I'll just shimmer this. Yep, you have a good one. Thank you so much for dropping by, Bugney. Bye. down here in a quite a while. Moss seem to have overtaken everything. Amazing. God damn it. But I accidentally clicked out of it. Uh, clicked out of the tab. Amazing. Wait, right. I need to do this first. Can't, uh, damn. Look, I'm never gonna be able to place anything back on there. That sucks. Nice little humble. I guess I should honestly I make the fallen store up here. sell things like uh actually i'll just take a picture of your shop inventory buy a few items from it
Actually, I want to bring the blade of the mountain up there. Let me get a different sword for the weaponsmith. Okay, let me check my handily dandily guide. Because I might be doing something sort of redundant with this, but it's chill. Okay, yeah, so I am doing something somewhat redundant here, but I think I'm chill to do, I think I'm chill to do that. I think I'm chill to do something somewhat redundant because the fall one sells more than just weapons. Like, sure, that is mainly what he sells. Kinda. Not, not even really. I don't even know why I led with that. do is I'll do a uh do the bronze one there now let me take a chandelier do something nice and basic do I think that fits though what other chandeliers will I have access to Do bone. Okay, so that is entirely shit busted. Dead ringer in one of these. Go ahead and let's check the Fallen up here. Right, I don't have a door placed. Thank you. 
and bone end tables instead. We'll go ahead and put the paintings up on here. Boom, there we go. Cute little shop. Very basic, very basic. starting to come up come together just a little bit better i think what this does need though is another elderwood platform right here this here something Issue is, what do, I, what do I want to decorate the common area with? I guess probably ore. Scatter a lot of ore around here. Then we can go ahead and we can just get ourselves some, get ourselves a quick little fancy picnic table, plop it up there.
fucking itch on my nose. Whatever. Let's <sighs> gotta stay up, Rachel. One of the clock tower bells. And hang it from right up there. Make some more of these Hall of Heroes pillars. He's added a bunch more hall pillars and whatnot. Because of course I fucking did. And I think it somewhat fits. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that works. Now I can, I'm going to strip down these insta houses. do something kind of simple you just you go in through here you buy crotch do is I'll have this one go all the way up to the top. Elderwood walls. Ah. Fuck off. Oh my God. Thank you. 
What am I using for, uh... Okay, I seem to not really be making windows. Got it. Counter. I got a bar. Oh, Deviant got a new boss sprite. That's cool. That's cute. Normal torches, sulfurous one, bloom, ice, white torch, jungle torch. Check out all these torches in here. table just something small place a few torches on these and torch merchant done very quick very simple
I think this is pretty good for now. You can always expand it later. I need to stop just like looking at my phone, but I am just, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm like bored because I'm not bored. I'm just tired. Yeah. Got a bunch of bars. Because of course we gotta place a bunch of bars. Something, something, all I drop are bars. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> got all the sharks down there. Very cool. Oh great, and there's a big one too, the big daddy shark. Eventually died. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna be honest, it intertwines with uh, the natural environment pretty well. I guess you add some more bars down here and maybe an extra picnic table or two. Tin up in the middle. What exactly is the logistics of them just having all their bars strewn out everywhere? I, I don't know. I'm sure, someone can find a reason for it. Also, have lamp posts.
So let's start placing down a little boatload of these. We can get rid of some of the torches. Now they're in the normal general area. Nice and lit up. Just want you look at that. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think I kind of just want to leave it where it is now, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I want to touch it too much more. I do actually want to go do one more thing though. Let's go pick up another ore bomb. Blotch of ores that's only been slightly dug in, uh, it's only been slightly dug into. That's cool. I'm gonna go pick up dinner. I can be back in a moment.
food acquired. It's fried rice. Uh, the rest of them all got pork fried rice. I just have fried rice, fried rice. Because my parents are cool and they thought about me when they made dinner. But you know, being pescatarian a lot. They're even gonna cook up a salmon for Easter. Uh, which is nice, that means I don't have to fight over the ham with everyone else. You know, we could get all of these, uh... Here, yeah, let's get, um... Get my grand design. Let's get my teleporters. Switches. Gray brick walls. And yellow pressure plate. Those two aren't in construction still. Oh, hey, welcome back, Kyle. Well, it actually goes to a pretty good spot. Yeah, uh, it's a whole 32, uh, 32 teleport teleporter system. What we want to do is we want to do, uh, wait, no, I think I want to go under. Uh, yeah, because the one for the farthest right. Hmm. Think about how to wire. I think what I do is I run the teleport system like this. Uh... Right, they intersect, so I need to do to bring this one all the way down to there. Ah, uh, Monday. We're killing Wall of Fush on Monday. So that's for the ah shit wait actually what I do yeah it's it's gonna be very easy it's a pylon and we want to do the desert arena like this there Trying to prevent uh, the wire mess that you see with the others uh, for this set. Yeah. 
Yeah, so... We want to do this, and we're actually going to move all of these wires over here so we can better visualize how all eight of these are going to connect. Shimmer. God damn it. I am really not good right now. It's fine. Um, an ocean pylon. Boom. Well, the way that they're all set up, <clears throat> this fits very neatly. And it makes El Autismo inside me very happy. Okay, cool. So I can't dash. Understood. You cannot dash. You move faster. You can mount. Yeah, I've got uh, OBS over on my second monitor, and then I've got the game on my first. Pretty standard. All in all. Make sure to keep my finger far away from the... Uh, what's it called? From the right click. kidding me of course it fucking fails I have to go all the way back and we have to fucking restart it because of course we do because of course we do
it, yeah, it is a clam titties reference. OMG. bit behind me yeah went over here they never grabbed this desert spirit land Actually, I have a good spot to kind of rest. Why don't I go down here so I can save whatever progress I've made so far? There, now I've saved all that. I can just get out. Should work as a te uh, as a Vicon teleporter. Guess we go back and we go check. Teleport to beginning. Yep, it only plays Vicon. Hell yeah. So this one's a little bit farther over at the sunken sea. So we got a little bit of a farther run to go. But it shouldn't be too hard. Okay, 
as with the last one we're gonna stop right here we can put what we have so far now we're probably gonna stop over at the next desert spot over oh, down over at the next uh <clears throat> or, or at the uh the way down to uh viscount serena you want to fall down here Should have done my building loadout, but whatever. Actually, wait, before I move. <coughs> there we go. Now it's basically just a straight shot down. Just trying to dodge a lot of stuff along the way. funny if when you kill it crash the game because of the terrain change in hard mode yeah that'll be fun if that happens okay sunken sea works next up is the desert pylon definitely um also do you remember the uh do you do you remember the um the astral infection uh i've been getting told it flies down on a meteor which may be an issue if you haven't uh, seen the sky bridge that we finished today that may cause a few issues also i don't know how large the nuclear warhead explosion is like I know rough like it reaches pretty far like the the actual like nuclear radiation la like reaches pretty far that's not what I'm looking for you know The 
yeah. Yeah, the... The Absolute Infection is the Calamity thing. I'm also talking about the nuke from Mod of Redemption. I don't know how large the blast radius on the nuke is. Or at least I don't remember. <laughs> I'm out of wire. I ran out of wire. God damn it. Where's the mechanic? Right, she's all the way over there. Whatever. To the sky bridge. A waffle house. Yeah. You know, I, I actually really should. That actually is really funny. Wait a minute. I will consider it. There's a lot of projects I still need to do. Six more platinum. Oh boy. This was the next checkpoint I was really working towards. Do I have an AFK farm? Nah, I don't play I don't play this offline. I did in like the first week or two because I wasn't really good at budgeting my hours. Um But now that we've gotten into a rhythm to get 40 hours a month, I think I am good to just kind of keep playing on stream only. Um, even if I still don't know if that's even enough hours, um, because there's a lot we still need to do, uh, and there's a lot I still want to do. Oh, no, no. oh my god, I got very close. I keep a sense of time on me. Let's uh, check one of those in here then. No, yeah, okay, no, I do keep one in.
Yeah, no, that works. That works. <clears throat> the next one is a lot farther away. There's just so many wires running about. You can get us a little bit farther. Both yes, both bridges are finished. Those were our biggest projects. Um, this teleporter hub being the next biggest. That's why that is what we are doing next. What do you mean I missed one wire at the corner? No, you're kidding me. So if I can go check. It seems to be fine. We're going to stop right about the rich mahogany tree. Boom. And now I just want to dig straight down from it. jungle a little, a little while. This is a little bit weird. Should be getting pretty close. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't exactly have to be like a straight line or anything. 
just has to make it uh, an easy way for me to go from uh, what's it called? I'm up top to my jungle arena. Okay, we're out of wire again. Oh. Back to the mechanic we go. Get another few thousand. We'll be honest, this teleporter hub actually does really help. We go so much faster throughout the world. We just have, we have so much extra, I guess, like, like ability or whatever. Where, where, it's more efficient, I, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't even know what I was like trying to think. I don't even know what my brain was trying to cook up.
Oh, we actually got fairly close down to the bottom. Right, you get spammed here. We have time to do the Aether one. We gotta be fast about it though. Let's try to make it to the Aether and hook up a teleporter there so we don't have to keep walking everywhere. Of those you have to build a lot because after we're done with uh after we're done with these we still have uh we still have to make all the ones that are marked as under construction basically if i marked one as under construction it means that there's not enough built for there to be a set in stone spot for a teleporter yet So like even if like a town like the desert pylon isn't finished yet i still like i still didn't mark it as work in progress because it's not a work in progress Okay, now we just got to move all the way over until we make it to the Aether. Yeah, it seems to be the farther out we go, the much easier it is to set up pylon, or uh, much easier it is to set up the teleporter network. The baby harpy, uh, the birdie rattle. It's not even a mini me, it's just 
it's just me flying with tiny wings which are totally not just recolored uh, little harpy wings no no damn it Okay, it's gonna go a little bit over four hours, but it's fine. I do just want to finish this one. Is it arena? Let's just set. Let's set up the one in the aether. Guy yeah, goes to see you later and let you get yourself. I mean, we're ending off very soon anyway. We just hit four hours. Speaking of which, we just hit four hours! Hell yeah! Uh, but that, we've, we've basically finished our time for... We've, uh, we, we, we've, like, finished our time for, uh... Week four. But... I don't want to end off yet. I do want to finish up this as one last thing. It's very quick. We're not going to go very far over, so it's whatever. Your plate. We connect it. Boom. We now have an aether teleporter. We have teleporters to quite a bit of stuff, honestly. But yeah, we finished the bridge. We worked on the underground pylon a bunch, and I think it's honestly it's in a pretty good position. And we did some more teleporter stuff. I think that was a good way to end off the month. We tied up some loose ends, but we still have stuff to do for next month. And that's not, you know, talking about the obvious. We're starting hard mode. So, yeah. Let me, uh, I think control Z.
I was muted accidentally. I accidentally muted myself. Uh, like, sub, comment, follow up on Twitch. Next stream's Monday. You all 